Hey, 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 it's your brother Van Silk. Not in my house. Listen, I definitely want to have a conversation today. You know, as a father, as a grandfather, as somebody that's been in hip hop since the very beginning, it saddens me that every time you wake up, somebody from the world of rap, I'm not going to call it hip hop, from the world of rap, lost their life. I put it to you this way, in the 49 years of hip hop, we had more rappers killed in the last three years than in the whole entirety of losing lives by natural cause of death or by killing or, 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 or murder than in the last three years. As I sit back and look at these record, you know, we, we lost FBG, FBG Duck. Now his man, FBG Cash, was shot to death in Chicago. And as I sat here and watched it on YouTube, 5.20 in the morning, uh, his name is Tristan Hamilton, rest in peace, young brother. He suffered multiple gunshot wounds while sitting in his vehicle. Now, the sad part about it was he's supposed to be visiting family. I guess he was out at 5 in the morning doing what he do. But they ran up on him in his own neighborhood. Now, if FBG Cash is a member of the Chicago Flyboy Gang, also called the Clout Boys, you know, then you're in the gang life. And the gang life is inside of the music industry. As, as earlier today, another rapper, Name Money Gang Vante. Uh, he was shot and killed in New York. And he's from LA. And I see his flash of money. And some of these rappers are traveling and moving around like things is cool. Now, uh, Money Gang Vante, they actually got him being murdered in the Bronx in a pharmacy. He's a drill rapper. Shot in the Bronx pharmacy. Today, 27-year-old Avant Frana, later identified as Los Angeles drill rapper Money Gang Vante, was in the Bronx on Thursday, what happened Thursday, when he was ambushed inside a local pharmacy by four other men doing what police would call an attempt robbery. Now, if you're running around the Bronx flashing money, or you coming here, you're trying to make friends with some of these rappers here, hey, listen, man, the, the, it's, the, the game is ruthless. The record labels are responsible for signing these rappers especially when they got the, the name gang attached to their name. It's our young black men that I'm old enough to be their father are being murdered. And if they're signed to record labels, do they have life insurance on them? I was just walking at academics the other day. And he said two days ago, within the next 30 days, there's going to be more rappers being killed or murdered. When you go and look at YouTube and a lot of the clubhouses, there's nothing about, there's nothing but negativity. We already got some of the OG brothers, I'm not gonna call their names, going back and forth on the whole Larry Hoover situation. Cause this is not the type of platform that I even do, but it bothers me because now I'm looking at this past, them being a rapper. I'm looking at them being a human being. I'm looking at them being a man of color. Fathers, brothers, sisters, uncle, cousin. These brothers are dying young. These are babies. 
Some of them could be my grandkid child. I have a 22-year-old granddaughter, a 24-year-old granddaughter. But yet, it seems like nobody is doing nothing. When the mayor, Eric Adams, a couple of months ago sat down and had Maino got a lot of the drill rappers in New York together, it seemed like they continuously didn't want to do what they want to do. And a lot of them are dry snitching on themselves on social media. If you see what's going on in Atlanta with Young Thug and Gunner, you know, and this is what we're dealing with. I'm typing in I'm just going to type in how many rappers were killed the last three years. Now, I would just like to know what that answer is because it really bothers me, you know, to see that do we have to deal with this? Mothers are burying their kids at a young age, and this is all that we have to live for. And then it's like a forgiveness. He's gone. King Vaughn is gone. I mean, um, Pop Smoke. I mean, Freddie Garson died of COVID. Natural, well, I wouldn't even call it natural causes, but that's what he died of. Just like my brother Case Slayer for COVID and other uh, underlining issues. But what are we going to do? I want to know. Let me see. Here we go. How many American rappers were murdered? Now, we know, if we go back in the days when Scott LaRock was murdered, Stretch, Tupac, Biggie, Big L, he just got his street signed the other day in Harlem, Freaky Ty, Jam Master J. But let's go, let's, let's, let's move up. It all started with Nipsey Hussle, Triple X, Young Greatness. I mean, we seen, we seen Nipsey Hussle murdered on social media. We actually seen these rappers get murdered in real time. And a lot of people will post it, post it on their page and have conversations about it. And, 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 and I don't even like the title when they're talking about rappers died. No, they was murdered. And we need to understand, Draco the Ruler was stabbed in, at, at the concert, which, which my friend Bobby D does a lot of concerts. And he never had a problem. Like, they went out their way to jump this man, and they stabbed him in his neck. And, and it's sad because we, we, we're people of color not getting it. Young Dolph went to buy cookies. And we think it's cool. And it seems like the record labels are responsible for a lot of this because they, they, they they're lining themselves up with these artists and they're not saying, well, we're not going to sign you because, because of this title in your name. But when it's not run by people of color who have a soul and it's all about the almighty dollar, do you think they actually care about these young black rappers that are getting murdered. When Scott LaRock got murdered in the Bronx, it, that was like, you know, wow. And it was rare that a rapper 
or an MC will, will get murdered. And that's what bothers me. It's like, yo, what is, what, is, what, what is being done about this? And at the end of the day, jack shit. Nothing. And it's sad. I mean, we're losing some of, of age. Natural causes. But just to come out and just murder somebody because... Just because you want to take a life. Like, who gives you the right to want to take somebody's life? And see, these young kids today, are de they, I call them kids because they're very disrespectful. You, you know, even Soldier Slim murdered. You know, Mac Dre murdered. You know, I'm even going back in years. Think about it. And see, when you want to play that street life, are you really entertainers or you're gangsters? You get in the business where you can make money and give a good life to your family, but then you want to live the street life. It ain't safe going back to your hood. I don't know who told you it was. They don't love you. The hood got... The hood... How would I want to say this? Because I'm, I'm from the hood. But they got them goons out there that don't care about you. You can't come up there flossing and they starving and you ain't feeding the hood. Now I ain't talking about taking money and just throwing it up in the And throwing it up in the air and throwing it up in the air. It's about coming there and, 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 and coming back to your community and doing the right thing. But listen, I'm not going to sit up here all night and elaborate on this. All I want to say is that we got to do better. The record labels have to do better. You OGs in the business got to do better. And we as a people got to do better. Rest in peace to all the rappers who lost their lives senselessly. Rest in peace to Money Gang Von Tay and FBG Cash, who within the last 72 hours lost their lives. This is your brother Van Silk, not in my house. I got to go. And I please wish everybody understand and have a heart that senseless killing it's only hurting us and our generation. Gotta go. Peace.